really trying to get up the motivation to go for a walk today, but I've been under my sleeping bag and just too comfy, really. Um, I've been looking at some maps, and um, there's a walk I want to do up in Crick Howell, uh, and I thought I'd vlog it today. So this is the route, starting out in Crick Howell, climbing up to Table Mountain, and then continuing short route along the river before returning to the car. And we're off. So I finally um, arrived in Crick Howell. The drive was longer than I thought it would be. It was about 12 o'clock. I stopped for some sushi because I was getting hungry um, and I knew I'd need the energy to start off. Heading up this muddy track here to Table Mountain. Um, it's well signed. There was a sign in the village to show where to go up. Got my trekking pole out. Help with the balance along this muddy foot trail. It's obviously rained recently. And uh, yeah, got my music in. Got a good pace going. I now have water in my left foot, but I don't care. Okay, check in with and you later. You look at views like these and it's gonna sound really cheesy, but for me, it's a way to recharge and reset the batteries. Just oh. came across this stream crossing. It certainly gets steeper as you go up. This bit here, you probably can't tell the gradient of it because of the camera, but it is quite steep. And that's where we're going up there. That way. Up and up. Nearly at the top of Table Mountain now. Just gonna go and uh, check out the hill fort that's around here. Lunchtime. Haven't found the hill fort yet, but I imagine it's up the top of there. But I just thought seeing as the wind was coming from that direction and there's this huge rock slab here that I could hide behind, lean up against my pack, make a cup of tea. Got my stove set up nicely here. Um, yeah, quite happy. Eating my cheese and, pe cheese and pickle sandwiches and drinking a nice cup of tea um, with a lovely view of I assume it's a uh, crick howl in the valley below. It's really windy up here now. I don't think it's so much of a hill fort as just these kind of like little structures. It probably would have been a good place to eat lunch, but I was hungry and I didn't want to risk it. So yeah, that's quite cool. You could definitely stop there for a lunch break. There's a sign here that says 50. I'm not sure why. If you know, tell me. Oops, just made a bit of a navigational error after I came down off the top of the hill fort. Slight detour. Um, I basically uh, wanted to follow the beacon's way down from the top of the map, uh, the top of the hill, sorry. And uh, I was like, yeah, I feel good. Pack's comfy. Shoes feel good. I'm going to run a bit. And got a bit carried away, didn't check the map. Um, and I was like, hang on a minute, we're going south west, kind of back the way that I'd come from. I was like, this isn't right. I should be going west a bit more first. So, checked the map and realised I'd basically run in the wrong direction. So, at least it was a quick navigational error. And round back again until. I'm now on the Beacon's Way. This river is really pretty and there's like all these like mini waterfalls. Just a really nice area and also navigationally um, I did have to check the map again which is good. It's good to check often and um, just to see if I was meant to be crossing the river that many times because it just kind of made me think oh should I you know this is a significant feature should I be crossing it check the map and yes it does run along this river and the Beacon's Way uh, crosses over it several times so I know I'm on the right track. Okay so I just went down to this lovely river behind me well to my right um, to collect some more water because 
I was down to about 250 mil or a cup. So I thought, ah, oh, I don't need it. I'm nearly back at the car, but it'd be good to rehydrate on the way home. I've got my filter, so it's not like you know, I'm using up Aquamira or anything that, like that that you have to replace. Um, went down, collected the water, carefully climbed back up, up got my filter out, and I brought the wrong bottles. In the UK, the smart water bottles have a wider neck on them than the ones that they sell in the US. I'm going to carry the dirty half litre anyway. It's, it looks perfectly clean, so you know I will drink it if I have to, but... I'll try not to because you don't know what kind of bacteria and stuff's in it. I'm pretty careful with my water. So it also evens out the weight on my pack because my stove, after lunch, I put my stove in the side pocket on my left. So now I'm nice and even because that, uh, that pound weighs me out on the other side. <laughs> Stream crossing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Made it. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. So I'm back on the road now, headed back to my car. I did four miles and it took two hours and 40 minutes. So I'll let you know what my pace was. I think a um, app on my phone might track my distance more accurately. So that's something to try for next time. Um, so that's it from me for today. Hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video give it a like if you did um, so subscribe for more and um, leave me some comments let me know if you like these vlog style and, videos uh, I don't think so much it's so much of a hill fort uh, 